Hello friends. Hi. This is Alicia from the Chardon Sign Shack. I'm trying to get my secondary device to work as always. I feel like I'm all out of whack here today. Okay. I don't know why. It's just one of those days. As you're hopping on, please say hello. We're going to be stenciling um, this really great Trying to see if my live is showing. There it is. Oh, wait. Maybe I... Oh, I got it to work. Yay. Oh, I got it to work. Yay. Now if I can figure out how to turn it down. Now if I can figure out how to turn it down. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Yay. I got my secondary device to work. I'm so excited. <laughs> Anyhow, as you're hopping on, please say hello. Hi, Dominica. Oh, this is wonderful. I've got my secondary device working. Finally. Happy day, um, and hopefully you can hear me well. Hello, Linda. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Mary. Um, hello, Dominica. Sylvia. Hi, April. April is from the Stencil Smith. I am the ambassador of the Stencil Smith. Let me just move my board over here a little bit. I have had, you know how you have one of those days? This has definitely been one of those days. I'm usually uh, much, uh, okay, I think I'm ready now. Okay, so today we're going to be stenciling this wonderful buffalo plaid. Oh, here it is. See, this is what I mean. This is one of those days, guys, so bear with me. I know Friday the 13th was on Friday, but it feels like it's one of these days. So the two stencils that I'm going to be using today, look at this buffalo plaid. This buffalo check here. Hi, Renee, how are you? Oh. Okay. Let me get rid of that. Okay, so this is the buffalo plaid. Look at the size of this. This is the, um, let's see, this is the, I think it's the medium. This is the medium. But look how big this is and look how nice this is. This is a one by 12. Look how that's going to fit on there, and it's going to make your work um, a lot easier using this. Let's see. Okay, so right there we're losing you, so we'll have to move the table this way as I go. Hi, Judy. How are you? Thanks for sprinkling. Hello, Dominica. Yes, the, the size is perfect. Like, I mean, it's just absolutely couldn't be more perfect. And so we're doing what we're doing today is we're just going to do a real simple, cheery, um, do we have a lot of Buffalo plaid fans out there? Um, I personally love it. I think anything Buffalo plaid is beautiful. Um, so we're going to do this in like a traditional red and black check and I've painted my board red. This is a one by 12 and I've cut it, uh, 60, 60 inches long. And like I said, this is the medium. This is going to be stencil number 2811 it's a medium in buffalo plaid and there's many different sizes of buffalo plaid there are many different um, you know there's little ones there's big ones um i have like i have if i could find them real quick here all these here are buffalo plaids that i have from the stencil smith for different things i've got the stripes little ones i got these big ones but it's in a smaller size you know for a smaller board um hi kathy how are you but i also found something out i don't know if anybody else does this i just found these boot clips on amazon look at these if you're looking how to display your stencils from the stencil smith this is wonderful i bought an inexpensive um coat hanger from Walmart and look this has got three I've got as many as eight or nine ten hanging on the same thing so I'm hanging them like these are my buffalo check I've got my flower patterns I was organizing late last night because I was just so excited when I got these thank you Cindy I appreciate that hello hi Christy how are you but um so anyhow this is just uh, these are wonderful. So if you're looking, these are on Amazon and they're boot clips. They are wonderful. 
now that you understand buffalo check. <laughs> and you know what else is great about this? If you've got it hanging on your coat rack, it's real easy to just go through it. It's more accessible um, to see everything because I've had some questions about that. How do, how do you store your stencils? That's how I store my big ones. And my little ones I keep, I got this little book on Amazon too. Amazon's the place, it's a display book. So I keep all my little ones like in here. And then I can just look through them like that. And I keep them organized like by Christmas, um, you know, holidays, different things like that. Yes, I, I was using these kind of hangers and they're fine. They work, I had a bunch of them. But those boot hangers are the bomb, I'm telling you. They are awesome. So anyhow, now that I've done that, let's get down to stenciling. So we're gonna be using this medium buffalo plaid and we're gonna be using this beautiful welcome. This is the 60 inch and this is on sale today. Both stencils are on sale today for 20% off and you'll get another 35% off with the, um, yes, you can flip through them, it's so accessible. Oh, thank you, Cindy. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's still frozen. Yeah, sometimes. Is anybody else getting frozen? If anybody else is getting frozen, maybe I should turn off my secondary device now that I got it working. I hope everybody's doing okay. So anyhow, this is the welcome. And it is a 60 inch. It comes in many different sizes. That's what's nice about the stencil smith as well. If you like see a storage range oh with pant hangers that's awesome so april has some good tips if you look through the comments on storing your stencils but i'm going to keep going on with the um the live so anyhow so this is the welcome i'm going to be using it's just a real simple nice clean letters i i love it so when i do any kind of pattern um, I like to do patterns in my background. I like to start in the middle. So the middle, I'll measure it, should be about 30 inches, I would think, if this is cut correctly. So 30 inches, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So right, yeah, that's, I eyeballed it good. And you can just eyeball it if you want to, but that's about middle for me. The reason I like starting in the middle of the board is because when you're working a pattern, it typically ends on both ends the same way. Okay, so I'm good, good. That is great. Maybe Paula just had a bad connection. Thank you, Renee, I appreciate that. I'm just so excited I have my secondary device, but it's been so long since I've used it, I'm still looking up at my, um, my phone. I haven't had that working for probably three or four months. So that's a plus. Okay, so like I said, I like to put it in the middle. That way, when you're stenciling, it ends up, the pattern will end up like if you've got just a little bit of a buffalo check here, it should theoretically end up the same way down there. And I've got some tape here. I always tape my stencils down. I do not use adhesive. I, I've never used it, so I can't say whether it's good or whether it's bad, the adhesive. I really can't. Um, I would imagine it's kind of messy. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have not sprinkled me out, I would really appreciate it. Right there, give me a sprinkle. I am giving away, every month I give away a stencil from the Stencil Smith, and this month, this is the one that I'm giving away. This is one of April's new, design, new designs. Love is a four-lettered word. And this is an extra small. So to put it on a one by 12, that's kind of like the size you're looking at. So all you have to do to be entered would be, thank you, Becca, would be to tell me you've sprinkled and I will enter all your names in a con on contest. Tomorrow, I will draw it. And I'll remind you again at the end of the video. So I have to go back through the comments, find who's sprinkled, not necessarily just sprinkle it, but comment sprinkled, and um, 
I will pull your name tomorrow night. I was doing it the night of the live, but then that gets too much because when I finish, then I got to get dinner and then it's night and I'm tired. <laughs> so, um, so I will do the drawing tomorrow, say like around seven o'clock or something like that. So for my background, okay, the reason I painted this red first, because I'm doing black and red and I didn't paint it black and I'm doing red, um, you hit the, the, this button. Where'd my little thing, I'm telling you. You hit the share button. You're not supposed to say that, I'm not sure why they call it sprinkling, but if you hit the share button, it sends me out there, it helps me grow, it helps the stencil smith grow, um, it helps us all grow together. And it helps bring more people to me, which helps me do more lives. Um, so I've got this in the middle, and as I was saying, I didn't paint this black, I painted this red, because if you're doing anything on black, and I've made this mistake before, I painted black and then I wanted, I wanted a black and red buffalo check, well, red does not show up very good on black. Uh, many colors do not show up very good on black. So, and sometimes when you're painting black, you have to paint a base of white to get a color to really pop, so it's much easier to paint red and then stencil the black over that. Black can be tough. I thought I had a, um, let me see, I gotta go get a paper plate. Sorry about that, folks. So I used, um, I used Fusion Mineral Paints. You can use any water-based acrylic paint. Hello, Susan, how are you? Yes, if you give me hearts, if you comment, all that stuff helps when you're watching a video. That helps um, Facebook say that um, they want to throw me out there in the Facebook land again. So the first coat I did, if you do have Fusion Mineral or you want to get it, is this Fort York Red. That's the color I used right here, Fort York Red. That's the base. I did co two coats of that. Sometimes with red, you even have to use uh, three coats. Red can be really funny. Um, I don't know. I think maybe it's the pigment in it or something. Um, it can be hard to get good coverage sometimes with red. Um, and I'm getting my black infusion mineral, which is just coal. And I'm going to squirt some on the board. And I'm using my Klingon. This is the best brush. And as a matter of fact, it's so good. I have another one. Oh, you're going to get fusion mineral. You will love it, Cindy. I'm telling you, you'll never go back. So this is the Klingon brush 035. I got it on Etsy. Um, and I just bought another one. It was supposed to be here today, sometime delivered. Because uh, I use, I do use, especially for large products, I would use it for this welcome and I would use it for the buffalo plaid. So I ordered another one today. That's how much I like the brushes. They're very, hi Denise from West Virginia. They are very, um, they're, they're about $35. Sometimes you can get them on sale, but they are worth it, friends. They are a really, really nice brush. I offload on the shop towels. So I've got my shop towel here ready. You could offload on to your craft paper, onto your paper plate, um, paper towels, whatever you choose. I like a shop towel. And so you just get the paint. And now remember, friends, too, this isn't too bad, but sometimes those buffalo check, these ones, these little bridges, they can move around a lot. Um, so, you know, you wanna be cautious when you're, you're not really um, doing it real hard or anything like that. So I'm gonna get black and I'm gonna get it up in the bristles of my brush, just like that. If you're new to stenciling, yes, Susan, brushes are a huge key see if I swipe these that way. Okay, brushes are a big key. Good brushes are a big key to stenciling, that and offloading. But this is my favorite brush in the whole, well, this one, and, oh, I don't have it nearby, but there's a St Stalmeister, um, little, it's called a Spalter brush, I think. And I use that to paint all my everything with just because it doesn't leave uh, brush strokes. I love it. So I'm going to start, I've offloaded, and I'm just going to start with my buffalo check, just swirling. I am a swirler. 
Does anybody else out there like Buffalo Check? But I don't use it to paint. Oh, the tester size? Yeah, they're not very big, but they have some nice colors. I need just a little bit more paint and I'm gonna offload again. Hi, Sharon, how are you? Whoop, my craft paper. This is just one of those days, I think start to finish, it's gonna be one of those challenging days. And I'm just swirling this around in there. And I'm probably gonna do two or three coats of this. You know, it just depends what kind of look you're going for. And you could do any, any kind of, um, you know, color combo you wanted. <laughs> it is a cozy feeling, April, you are correct. You love it, Deborah. Hi, Cindy, how are you? So again, this stencil and the Welcome Leaner one will be on sale today and tomorrow for 20% off. You can use my code SIGNCHECK, S-I-G-N-S-H-A-C-K at checkout, and you can save an additional 15%. And they have many different sizes of this buffalo plaid, but it's just that this is, um, this is a really, really nice size for leaners and it's so big. You know, most of them are about 12 by 16. So you have to do a lot of moving with it. So this is really, really nice. And you wanna line your, I have done it before. Oh, you have one of those days too, Judy? I'm so sorry. I understand that. It just, um, I don't know. <laughs> I just, no matter how hard I tried, does everybody else or is this just me? I get up with all these great intentions. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I don't know where the time goes. I'm, um, we had a family business and we sold it in 2018 and that's when I started the stenciling a little bit after that because I was really bored and um, the buffalo this buffalo stencil Kathy is a medium and um, so I was really bored so I started stenciling then I started doing lives um, I also have some friends that own apple orchard so I went and worked for them and it started out being the fall just the fall, and now um, this is the first year I'm working all winter um, at the apple orchard. I mean, I work inside, but it's still, it's not heated except in the back with a wood stove, so it gets very chilly. And then I have the grandkids a lot, and my dad lives with me, and um, he needs a lot of care, and sometimes I don't know where my day goes. I really don't. It is... Um, like I said, I have really, really good intentions, but it just never pans out. I always think I can get much more done. Like this week, I was going to, I wanna paint both of our hallways, because now's a good time to paint, at least in Ohio. Although the weather's really nice today. Is it nice in your neck of the woods? Um, it was 51 degrees here this morning. I went for a walk. It was beautiful. It was sunny. Could not believe it. That is unheard of in Northeast Ohio in January. Usually we're buried under several feet of snow and it's cold and bitter. Hi, Heather. How are you? Well, you're probably just getting home from work. Oh, you, isn't it? Is it as beautiful down there as it is up here? 38. Yeah. Is that 38? Yeah, 38. Okay. I don't know. Um... I don't know what we're gonna to be tomorrow, but I know that it's been unusually weirdly. No cloud, rain and snow is coming. Oh, that's what you had over the weekend. Yeah, it's it's been really nice. Even on Sunday, it was sunny and I think it was like about 38. It's surprising how the sun just makes you feel so much better. And I'm just swirling this in to the buffalo check. And I am gonna do one more coat of this. Gonna dry it just a little bit. Now you could go for this look. 
So you could do a faded look. I actually kind of like that. I don't know. What do you think, girls? Do you like that? I don't know if I am going to do one more. I like it. It's just a little bit of variegate. It's, um, you know, a little bit of, like, it's a little faded here. I like that. That's the one I'm going with. But look how much ground that stencil covers for a porch liner. Uh, that's the one I'm going with. Now, the important thing with buffalo check huh, is you got to line it up. And I have messed mine up before. You like it one coat? Snow and 30 in Easter, Eastern Washington. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, today's a nice day here in Ohio, so I like the faded look too. You like it too, Judy and Gay? Okay. So the thing with buffalo check is you got to line it up correct. Okay, because <laughs> I have many a time lined it up the wrong way. Has anybody else done that or is it just me? I always say I'm never going to do it again. So what I'm saying by that is you want to make sure like you don't want this to be here. You want where the black and the stripes, you want that lined up on your last row. And you kind of want to line it up the same way. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And I'm going to take that down. And that's almost, see, that is so big that that is almost going to come to the edge of the page or the edge of the board. I just got a little bit up here I'll have to stencil. But isn't that wonderful? I Like I said, I have this, but I have it in a smaller size for a smaller board. But I absolutely love this size. Absolutely love it. And I don't know if you've checked out, um, April's been adding, every time I turn around, she has added all of these beautiful designs. I just, today I ordered, um, what did I order? I ordered some birch trees. If you're looking for birch trees, hello Karen, how are you? Yeah, isn't the stencil size amazing, Judy? Um, birch trees. I'm trying to think what I ordered. She, uh, they designed some beautiful birch trees. Um, I ordered a Dolly Parton one. It was really cute. If you like, um, are any of you fans of the movie 9 to 5, working 9 to 5? Um, that is such a fun uh, movie that takes me back to like, I guess that was probably my childhood. I don't know what year that came out, but I love that movie with Dolly Parton and Lily Tomlin, and I think Jane Fonda was in it. But anyhow, April has a really cute, um, I stumble out of bed, uh, stumble out of bed. I don't want to sing because I can't sing. But it's from the 9 to 5 song, Pour Me a Cup of Ambition. Um, had a gal, <laughs> yeah, messing up Buffalo Check is easier than you would think. I did it on a pillow. I was doing a pillowcase, and like this, you could at least sand pillowcase. You're just like, well, at least it was like at the very bottom, and it's not very noticeable. But um, it's a good seller. See, Rhonda said she has that stencil, and it's a good seller. Yeah, I just got it, and I imagine it would be. It's been one of those that's been on my wish list, and... Um, I went ahead and got it. I saw a post by Dolly Parton. And uh, I was like, oh, that reminded me of that stencil. But I think I got that. The birch trees. I don't know. I got some Valentine's ones. I got that cute one about the... What I love about her stencil so much is her sense of humor. Um, I got the one, I'm yours, no returns. The Valentine's one. And I have already gotten a couple orders for it, and I haven't even made it yet because people saw the stencil I posted, and they're like, I have to have that. And I thought that would be a cute one to even do up. You could even do it like in black and white. You didn't have to do it so typically, you know, red. Um, so you could leave it out all year if you give it to your, your other half. Yeah, I like that one. I think that's really funny. I love her 
But anyhow, her sense of humor and her designs are beautiful too. So, but she's been coming out. Every time I turn, turn around, I'm adding a bunch of new ones to my cart because they're just beautiful. And I sure love to paint. I don't have as much time as I'd like to to paint. <laughs> no, we can't be per perfectionists. You're welcome, April. I love, love, love her designs. I can't say enough besides the fact that they're also made in America, which is another really cool thing right here in the Buckeye State, which is where I'm from. That's what we are in Ohio. I don't know what you are in. Um, I know, Judy, you're in the Show Me State. I know that because my sister-in-law lives in Missouri. Um, Denise, you're from West Virginia, so that's the Mountaineer State, I think. So I'm just gonna move this like right there because I don't want it hanging like all the way over here because it'll pull this edge up. So I'm gonna move it up right. i am still got it correct. Right to there. That's what you always want to double check that you're right on this. You should anyhow. Here's Jess. Oh, hey Bill, I'm doing a live. I'm sorry, my neighbor just came by. <laughs> That's okay. So I'm bringing it up to the top of the board. Like I said, I didn't wanna to go too far up because I don't want it to have too much of a bend to it. And I'm just gonna lightly kinda of get those. And this is a really nice thick, the buffalo check, some buffalo check, these bridges are a lot, um, they're a lot finer and they can be really, really um, wiggly. So you gotta be careful with Buffalo Check for that too. But this brush is a really nice soft brush also for Buffalo Check. Okay, I'm gonna move it back so you can see this part of it. And turn my secondary device. Ah, almost lost it. I don't want to lose it off my table. Okay, so again, I am going to line this up. Oh, Got to move some stuff here. This is a nice table, and it's on wheels. Um, my husband put one of those uh, little creeper things underneath it and just put straps on it, and this table moves all over the place. It's the best free table I ever got, I think. And it's at such a nice height for stenciling. So anyhow, I'm gonna go down here. I've got it all lined up, as you can see, with my checks and my stripes. And I think this is gonna be really pretty. Another thing, if you get a lot of snow, go Mountaineers. It's really big, Rhonda, it's really nice. It's the, um, it's the medium, I believe I said, yeah. Number 2811 medium, because I've got one of this one, but it's smaller than this. It's more like probably about that size right there. But yeah. Yeah, and always, yeah, that's what I get is the 10 mil. Um, Rachel has, or not Rachel, I was looking at the name there. April has both the Stencil Smith. When you go to check out, It'll say 10 mil or uh, hazy white or the seven mil blue. I prefer this. Really, it's just a preference of what you like. Um, I think sometimes too, it depends on what you started on. Like maybe if you started with the blue, you really like the blue. This is super durable though. It's easy to clean. Yes, as April said, they have lots of other buffalo. Like I said, I just showed you just a few of the ones I have. I've used the ones that are the stripes a lot. They come in little little strips and they're really nice. Um, I'll, sh I'll pull that one off my hanger and show that one to you. That one's really nice just for um, quick little, I added it to my snowman that I did with a hat, but they're just little strips. I don't know the name of that one, but it's a really nice stencil. There's a lot of really cool background ones. I'm a background person. I love to add a background. Are any of you, 
Do any of you add a lot of backgrounds to your stenciling or are you just straightforward at stenciling? Oh, good, Barbara. I'm so glad. Yes, the 10 mil, I believe, is easier to clean, in my opinion. A lot easier. I don't think I got that one very good. And I always clean my stencils. Um, now, some people find it too harsh, which it is a little harsh. Sometimes I breathe in the awesome spray. I get the awesome spray from the Dollar, uh, the dollar Tree. And... You know, everybody knows it's a, the dollar twenty-five tree now, but that's what I use to clean my stencils, and it works really good. Some people use like Don uh, Power Wash. I've heard some people use mag Magic Erasers, um, but Awesome is what I like to use to clean mine. I remember when I first started stenciling, <laughs> I couldn't get the paint off. I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong here? You know, I just couldn't get it off. And here it was the. Um, it was what I, I was just using water and that's, I used a magic eraser and it worked really good. Yes, Becca uses a lot of backgrounds. You love a background too, Linda? Lucy, yep. Yeah. It makes a big difference. It, you know, you can buy stuff, you know, people can buy stuff at Hobby Lobby. Number one, it's usually um, MDF. I shouldn't say usually, I think it just is. So I'm gonna move this down so you can see right here that I still have to get this little strip here. So again, I don't want this hanging. And make sure before you start painting that you got it lined up right. Because like I said, it's easy. I have done it. Yes, Judy, that's you were the one who told me. I thought it was you. Judy uses Dawn Power Wash for hers. Awesome spray is harsh. I know when you spray it sometimes, it um, if I let it set and I bend down too close to the the sink, it really, um, I hope I got, yeah, I got this lined up right, I think. Maybe I didn't line it up right down there. No, that's right. Okay. So anyhow, so I got, even though it's not the same pattern, I have the same, like, you know, like just about a finger here and a finger down here. So that's from lining it up in the middle. If you start in the middle, it should end the same both ways, which makes a huge difference. Oh, you dilute, dilute yours. That's good, Susan. It's really strong. So anyhow, I am going to use, so I, I like that. Do you like that? I think that's really pretty. Such pretty colors. And I think that's going to, um, I think what I started to say before and I got sidetracked, which is not unusual, is that we have, we typically have a lot of snow here and that would look so pretty against the snow. The red would look just beautiful. So I am gonna put, if I can find, there's my water. You don't wanna see behind the scenes, people. It's a mess. So I'm just gonna put my little my brush in water and I am gonna get my welcome. Here it is. Okay, and again, this is the 60 inch. So I'm using a number, the welcome is number 6115. And this is the 60 inch, comes in many different sizes. The buffalo pad, or the buffalo plaid was medium and it's number 2811. I'll list both links at the, like if you go back after the live where the video is and you go up to the top, I'll have both links list, listed there that you can just pop on or you can always put write these numbers down and just go right there. And like I said, if you use my code sign check, you'll save an additional 15% um, off your order today. The whole order will be 35% off. Not the whole order. If you get more, it won't, but just these stencils. Okay. So now this, that's one way you can tell. I could tell right away. 
This is another thing that's really nice about her stencils is sometimes you're unsure which way to put them. It has these numbers and that's the right side up on each stencil. It'll say like this one will say the number, number 6115. It's 60 inch and there's four pieces. So we're gonna line this up on the board here. And I would, see, I would typically use my Klingon brush for this too, and it would go much faster. But it's all full of black paint, so. I mean, I could clean it and come back. And I wanna line it up so it's kinda, I think I need to come over a little bit. I want about as much room on the bottom as there is on the top. And again, if you feel right there where that number is, that's the right side up. So that's a real easy way, because I know people sometimes when they're stenciling, they get their, you know, like they might, of course this E is super easy to figure out, but if there's a W that's not connected, they might do the W like that. And it looks kind of off, but you're not sure what's wrong. I see it over and over. I mean, I've done it. If you stencil long enough, Unless you're like a super perfectionist, um, I just, I don't know what happens. You just, you, you're human, you mess up. They say the air is human, and boy, am I human. Okay, so I'm gonna tape this down again. Isn't that a pretty welcome, the font and everything? There's my tape. and you just want them butted up against each other. And this is on, this is on a one by 12 common pine. I got at Home Depot and it's cut 60 inches long. I like a one by 12. Um, they're a really nice size for porch leaners. They're really visible from the road. I like to do the 60 inches. Um, anytime I'm making a porch leaner, it's mostly always going to be uh, five feet and it's going to be on a one by 12. And again, I get the common pine at, um, I don't know why I did that guys. I should have just taped this. I think because I was reading comments, I would normally, you're very human then. Oh, I had, you know, before, yeah, I'll give you the link for that. Rhonda, it's a great way to um, keep your stencils. Um, right before the live, like maybe three minutes before I went on, I look back here, oh, there's still some, and I was, where I was painting the red for my board, I just had it everywhere, all over my new wall. <laughs> you make quite a few mistakes too. Just means you're superhuman my story and I'm sticking to it and again I'm gonna let you know too if anybody's joined late if you're just joining this is the stencil I'm giving away this month um, all you have to do is sprinkle the video and I will choose someone tomorrow I'll write everybody's name down and I'll choose them choose one person every month I do that okay so I'm gonna get my casement which is a white for fusion mineral. I know it always seems like I'm, um, this is a mirror image. So the way you would normally turn it for somebody to look at, it's the opposite. So it always messes me up. Let me get this black back in here. I think I'm just gonna get another plate because I don't wanna, I get so sloppy and so big. And I just take, open the bottom of my bottle and get my paint back in there because supplies are expensive and I don't want to waste any of it. So let me get one more paper plate, friends. I think this will work. Everything's dried on it real good. And again, I'm getting the casement. I don't know where my toothpicks are at. It's got one of those dried pieces of paint on the bottom. This seems really 
Maybe it's because there's not that much left. I've got some more right here. This is what Fusion Mineral usually comes in. This is the 16 ounce, so it lasts a long time, and I put them in these FIFO bottles. So I took that out because I might need more. So I'm gonna just bring you down this way a little bit, I guess, so you're closer and start. And it's the same thing. I'm getting the paint up into my bristles and I'm gonna offload. If you're new to stenciling, offload is key. It's the difference between bleeds. That looks straight. I think. Sometimes it's hard to tell. No, that looks straight, I think. It's really hard to tell sometimes when you're doing this upside down and sideways and on lives, I try to do it. And again, I'm just swirling this paint around And this will take a couple coats. It may actually take three. I'm not sure. But usually by the time you get down to the bottom of your board, the top of your board is dry with leaners. So you don't even really have to dry the lettering. And I'm just swirling. And if some people use sponges, I like to use brushes and I like to swirl. I find the swirling motion very therapeutic. Very therapeutic. Oh, probably new, new, uh, new to stenciling or yeah, if you're new to stenciling, and that's another thing too, I don't always catch the comments uh, right away because I'm looking down at my board and trying to do that, but I'll look up and then uh, catch them. But if there's any and ever anything you need an answer to, I do respond to my messages. Sometimes it might take me a couple hours, but you can always message me and ask me a question. I'm more than happy to help you with anything. Um, from supplies to stencils to paint to any just anything that I can help you with but sometimes it takes me a while and see it's not even taking that long here I don't know do we have any spongers out there I've only tried it once and it was a failure. I got to give it a try again. April was telling me a tip today. I'm going to try because I've been closing all the bridges on my stencils and it really gives it a much more finished look when you do that. You don't have to. But she was telling me oftentimes on these bigger ones, she tapes it off and she uses a sponge to just kind of fill that in. Um, and it gives it a really finished look, but I haven't, um, I haven't practiced that, so I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to try it. I thought that was a really interesting, uh, tip. You can learn, you know, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing things. You can always learn something new. Always. Whoop. I guess I need to move you back here a little bit. I'm getting down to the M and the E. Get you in the camera. I just move you down a little bit because it's a little closer. I thought about doing it like sideways. Porch leaners are hard to, um, sometimes hard to get a good angle on just because they're so long. Does anybody have any projects they're working on right now? 
I am going to be, let's see, I'm going to be finishing up, well, I haven't, I've got, I've had the board painted for a long time. I'm going to make a growth chart for my niece. Her baby's going to be uh, 18 before I get it done. You're a sponger and a brush swirler. I have you. Oh, so you've used a sponge to fill in the gaps. Interesting. Yeah, see that that makes a lot of sense, April. I am going to try it just not today. I don't want to try it for the first time on camera. Be like, well, that didn't go well. But I think it would be probably pretty easy. But I'm sure you have to offload your sponge the same way. Oh, you're doing some decoupaging, Judy. You know, I have all your napkins, and I haven't decoupaged anything yet, but I want to. I just, I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't know where my time goes. Judy is such a sweet friend. I've met so many sweet friends from stenciling. And one day out of the blue, she just sent me a whole bundle of beautiful napkins. You're working on a winter spring commission piece. Oh, I bet that's going to be pretty. I love um, I've got a couple more orders. Uh, you know, I had a lot of Christmas ones, but then I've got two, I think two orders right now out there. Um, now I have three actually. But you know how it is sometimes after the holidays, things do slow down. Um, there's not a lot of, I don't think a lot of people decorate for Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day, or maybe they do, it's their big thing. Um, I don't know. That's, I ordered a, um, a little, little, uh, St. Patrick's Day one from the Stencil Smith today. It was, um, oh, I know I'm going to butcher it, butcher it. It's like cilantro or something like that. It's spelled really weird, but it's Irish and it means, uh, cheers. Um, they do cheers to it. It means health. Ooh, luggage tags. That's your painting luggage, 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 luggage tags for the Pointer Club. Oh, that sounds fun. I would love to see those as well. Book stacks. Ooh, I bet those will be. I haven't done a book stack yet. I bought a bunch of old books from the Goodwill. And um, that's on my list of things to do. It's in my never-ending boxes. I went to the thrift store yesterday and I didn't really find anything too much um, for stenciling, but we have a nicer one in town. I, we went to the Goodwill. I take my grandsons there every once in a while. The 13-year-old, he didn't go, but my 7-year-old, um, oh, he loves it. And I got him, I did get him some nice clothes. I got him two pair of snow pants. They were like two fifty dollars a piece. They were really nice. And um, I don't know, does anybody else like thrifting? I love thrifting. You can find a lot of surfaces there too that you can reuse um, for fairly cheap, especially if you go on the day, like yesterday was purple tag. So anything purple tag was 50% off. Um, so that was really nice. But see how nice that is. It's just a real, I think this is going to be just beautiful. This white and red and black. It's going to be super pretty. And you could put this out any time of the year. It's just a really nice cozy look. But I think more typically I would use it in the fall. Um, winter. But it could definitely be any time. And with this buffalo check, like I said, you could do so many different colors. Oh, you have a Goodwill and Antique. We have a really nice, we have an, um, it's the American Cancer Society, and they have a store, and they have, you almost think you're walking into a department store. It's set up so nice, and they have, I found some really, really nice stuff there. We didn't get there yesterday, though. Oh, you're not able, are you not feeling well, Judy? 
Judy has had some health issues. I hope you, I hope it's not because of your health. I hope it's more because of the weather or something like that. I know you've had some nasty weather in Missouri as well. I know from what my sister-in-law said that you get a lot of ice in Missouri. Rather than snow, which I would rather have snow any day than ice. Ice is no fun. And this is a 5 8 brush, folks. 5 8 dome brush. This Royal and Lang nickel. And it's just really covering so well. They have some green ones, too, that are really nice. You can't beat it, can you, Maggie? And the grandkids, they just think they're the bomb diggity, getting all that stuff. You like thrifting? Yeah, clearance at Hobby Lobby can be great. Oh, oh no. Well, that's no good, Judy. That's got to be cumbersome and hard. I know my um, my father-in-law, he was on oxygen, um, and he had a little portable one, but it was still a lot. Um, I hope you have one of those portable ones, but it, it can be a lot to even go. Okay, I like that. Ooh, I like that. I think that's going to be... I don't know if I want to do one more. I might do one more little light coat, friends, if you have just a minute. Just because there's a couple areas that I can see, like the black, where the black bridges. I figured it might take three coats. See, that's not taking too long at all. That buffalo check was easy, quick work just because um, because of the size of it. It covered the board in three times. And then um, just a little bit on the bottom and top. So that's really nice. That's less you have to move them around. And I just kind of like, lots of times, like, I'll hold it kind of down a little bit, even though it's taped down as I'm stenciling, so your brush doesn't, like, move up underneath it, because I've had that happen before, too. But usually, once you get one paint of coat on it, it kind of, like, almost sticks it down, if that makes sense. But this is just, it's just such a nice welcome and the size, the font, everything. Of course, I love an Algerian font too. And I love the script, all the script stuff she has is so pretty. Especially, have you seen the leaners that have, like I have the Let It Snow one that snows here, but the Let It is cursive and it goes up the side of the board. It's so pretty. Really, really pretty. Whoop. Just going with the stencil. Just going over a couple spots there. Icy roads and fog. Yeah, we've had a lot of fog too. Oh, your O2 thing doesn't go up high enough? Is that what you're saying, Judy? I wish I was close by. I would um, I would come and take you out. We'd have a girls' day. We'd even let Jeff come.
course, he, he humors me. My husband, you know, when you go to the Hobby Lobby or something like that, he's good about it. But, but it is nice because when he goes with me, he's like, oh, I can build that. And it makes me feel good because I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's go home and do that. Okay, so I'm going to take it off. And you just simply pull it up. Perfect. Look how pretty that is. I love that. And I'm not sure if I'm going to frame. Lots of times I frame my signs on the edges with the color that I'm uh, stenciling the words with. I may or may not. I'm unsure at this point. So I'm just going to put this in here. Thank you so much. Now, like I said, April said you could do the uh, tape with the sponge to fill in the bridges. I thought I got my little uh, liner brush out to fill in the bridges. Hmm. Well, I'll get this one. This is not the one I usually use. But you can fill in the bridges really easy. Um, Oh, jo oh no, yeah, that would be scary. I could see that. Not sure. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the framing this time. I like it as is. Or if I did frame it, I might frame it in like black rather than, usually I do the color. But usually when, here we go. So when I'm doing my, you do not have to do this, okay? But it does, I did this last week. And... If you take a little bit of time and you fill your bridges in, look how good that looks. Um, it, it really looks finished. You don't have to do this. But I like to go over just a letter or so. But I like to take, this is wrinkled up craft paper. It's almost probably on its way out. But it makes the lightest of sandpaper. Um, I know Rhonda said last week, and if you just go over a little bit where the bridges are, it knocks it down a little bit. You know how the bridges are higher where the paint's at? And that way it doesn't look lifted. But I just sand it just a wee little bit is what I do. And like I said, you don't have to do this. But filling it, oh, you've been filling in your bridges? I love it, Dominica. You wouldn't frame the check. Okay, I don't think I'm going to. So what I do when I'm filling my bridges in, I'll bring you down here for the W. Let's see if you can see that better. And what I like to do is I have a piece of paper and once I get the paint on my brush, I offload it. Not as much as I would, you know, like your stencil brush, but I do like to offload. And lots of times I'll move around the board as I do it and just filling in those bridges. And usually, when you do it, you have to do it at least twice to get it to kind of match. And then when it dries, you can go back over it and uh, sand it. You're gonna start filling in yours. I know I'm so excited, Dominica, that you're um, filling in yours. I did when I first started, but I felt like I did such a bad job at it but I've been doing it more and more, and the more you do it, friends, the easier it gets, and um, the more you can't unsee your projects with the bridges not filled in. And like I said, you do not have to do this. I do it on all of them now. So we got that, and we'll do the E. And it just looks so nice and finished. It doesn't look, um, I can't use a Cricut to save my life, but I know with a Cricut you don't have bridges. Um, because of the way they're made. So this looks more like something you do like that. Um, where it look finished and not so stenciled. And it's really easy to do. I gotta find my other brush. I don't know if it rolled off this table because that is my favorite brush. It's called, um, these are from Arteza and I got a set of them. Um, and they're really, really good brushes. You can get these on Amazon too.
but the brush that I really like using is called a rigger brush. This one is a, says one round. And so I'm gonna go up here to the O a little bit. Sometimes O's are harder than, because they're they've got a curve to them. I find them more challenging sometimes than the um, the straight letters. But I do like to do it. And like I said, I'll need to do this twice, but I simply put it on my brush and take it off. And if you sand those bridges just ever so lightly with craft paper or a lunch bag works too, um, you are correct, April. I can't unsee it now. She ended up taking, April says her friend ended up taking down all her work and she can't, she couldn't unsee the non-connected bridges anymore. And like I said, this is something, the gingerbread. Oh, the gingerbread. Yeah, I haven't done any on the dish towels. I do more filling on the porch board, the letters. Yeah, they're easier on the porch board because the letters are bigger. Sometimes when they're real little, you just kind of like got to dab just a wee little bit. But um, it really does make a difference. And like I said, if you do it, and see, this is not taking that much time. I'm going to have to do it one more time. I won't keep you on camera and do it, but I just wanted to show you um, this is not taking very long at all. Not really. But I'm so glad that some of you are filling in your bridges. And like I said, that's a personal thing, whatever you want to do. It's what I, I've been doing and I really am happy with it. White and black. Oh, thin... Okay, the thin Posca paint pens. Yeah, that would be a good, do the paint pens match your, um, did the paint pens match, you know, your paint? Like say if you used a white paint pen with this, would it match or would it be a slightly different white? Do they match pretty good? And so there we have it. Like I'm on my last one down here. Just right here. You give it a little curve because there's a little curve right there. And then I'll go back and do this one more time, but not on camera. But see how it gives it a more finished look? What do you think, everybody? Do you like that, the black and red, the buffalo check? I really like that. I think that's really pretty. And that'll look really pretty in my front yard with the snow. Um, maybe some red for Valentine's Day. Oh, I'll rinse this off for a minute because I'm not gonna do this. But um, so anyhow, friends, this one, now April has a lot of buffalo plaid, a lot. Um, like I said, these are, these are just some of the, I said I was going to show you, I showed you earlier, but if you weren't here, like this is the same size, I believe. No, maybe it's not. But these stripes, I use these ones a lot too. These are really nice for embellishing things. This is number 6398 in a small. Um, these are really, really nice. I've used like the strips for snowmen hats, all kinds of different things. Um, the little, uh, the, and then I got a smaller one, but there's all kinds of different, and there's many more. Like April has thousands upon thousands of stencils. Um, but today and tomorrow, this is going to be, uh, they're going to be on sale for 20% off the welcome and the buffalo plaid. And again, the buffalo plaid is huge. This is the medium, but it's so big. 
you know, it, it just, I used it three times and then I, like I said, I just had a little bit on the edge I had to do on my uh, five foot board. And um, so this one is 2811 medium buffalo plaid and 6115 welcome in the 60 inch. They're both on sale for 20% off. You'll get another 15% off with my code sign shack. Um, I'm so glad you could join today. I appreciate all of you uh, always joining me and uh, spending time with me, sharing your afternoon. Well, I guess it's almost evening. It's about time to see it. I don't know which, there we go. I don't know which way to go sometimes with this mirror image. <laughs> you would think I would know by now, but I don't. Um, but uh, join me next Tuesday. And don't forget, if you didn't, if you sprinkle me out there, which is this, Make sure you write sprinkle in the comments. I'm going to go back and put everybody's name down. And then I'm going to choose a winner tomorrow night, probably around six or seven, something like that. So I'll see you next week. Thank you, Becca. Thank you, Bonnie. I appreciate it. What was the hook from Amazon called? I don't know what hook. Oh, are you talking about the boot clips? These are... I'll send you a link, Maggie. These are boot clips. Like to hang boots in your closet, they're boot clips. And boy, do they work. They work so nice on um, the stencils. And you can hang multiple stencils, and then they're all right there. Um, I don't know if I can bring it in the camera. It's on rollers. See how much I can get it in the camera. But see, whoops, lost one see if I can turn it a little bit so yeah so they're all nice and organized and you can see them really really good I just ordered I ordered 30 of them I didn't think I'd use them all um, like some of them I've got I've got probably like three or four I think there's at least three rounds on this one they're like my Christmas and winter rounds um, and they just look at that it's amazing and I, I just love how they're like I said I can just go through it and I can see it because sometimes you get so many stencils um, that's what happens with me I forget what I have so if I have it at my fingertips with like this where I can see it or in this book I got off of Amazon and I'll post links on these too if you're interested but you know I just keep all my stencils and I put I do put black cardstock between them so I can see my white hazies on them, but um, it's just a really, see, I, there we go. It's a really nice way to organize them. And, um, you know, you just, it's very nice. And you can see them there at your fingertips. And it's much easier to sit down with something like this and it's not boxed away or something like that. Um, because then I forget what I have. So um, I wanna thank you for joining me. I hope you'll join me next Tuesday. I'm not exactly sure which one we're doing. Um, April and I have been brainstorming a bunch of new lives, but it'll be fun and I hope you'll be there and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.